how to add rain in your photo using Photoshop. Welcome to this new series on Photoshop for Lightroom users. My name is Serge Remini. My work is in over 120 galleries around the world and I've published seven coffee table books, but I'm a French photographer from the amazing city of Paris, France, living in USA. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some really cool brush and uh, you can just download and install them and then we can just add some rain in your photo. So let's get going. So first thing first, you need to install the brush. So for that, is you need to download the brush which is under this video you're going to get a file called weatherbrush.abr you double click on it and it's going to install them in photoshop that's all you need to know okay once you've done this take a photo like this one for example this is a photo i was in montmartre in paris and it was pouring rain i had never seen anything like it i mean it was i was soaked i just had one small umbrella and i got to shoot montmartre with nobody like the oldest part of paris but the rain eventually stopped and so for example, on this photo, you can see how much rain it was. And if you look at it, rain only appears on the highlights, actually close to the camera. You can see it was pouring rain. This one had a lot of rain. And look how the rain mostly appears on the highlights. And then this one, the rains kind of stop on this one. Uh, if you look at it, you can see there's still a bit of rain here. Very little, you don't even see it here or just a little bit. It kind of stopped and it completely stopped when I took this photo or uh, this photo or that photo. But I think I want, I want to use this photo here. So what are you, we're gonna do is we're in Lightroom and we're gonna right click, edit, Photoshop 2023. So here we are in Photoshop. So once you're in Photoshop, make sure you only have the layers window open. On that layer window, we're gonna click here to create a new layer. And that's what I love about Photoshop, it's got layers. On this layer, we're gonna call it Big Rain, okay? And then we're gonna make sure, we're gonna press D. By pressing D, it's gonna make sure that your colors are black as a foreground color and white as a background color. That D is for default. And then we're gonna press X. You wanna make sure that white is the foreground color. Okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to, you're gonna press B for brush or just click on this brush icon and you're gonna go to the brush tool. Once you do that, because you've, you double click on the file that you have downloaded on this video, you can click here and you can see there, there, there's a folder called weather brush free. Now your folder, your brush things might not look like this at all. So to make it look like this, you have to go here and make sure that brush name, brush stroke and brush tip is all checked because if it's not checked, uh, it's going to look completely different. Okay. Check this out. The most important is brush stroke. Brush stroke is actually going to show you the stroke. You want to have that. And you can make this brush work small or you can make them big. I advise you to make them big, make that window and you can make the window big there. So make sure you have brush stroke enable and then you go to the, uh, you have a folder called weather brush free. Don't worry about everything else that I got open. I have a lot of different brushes. All you care is about this one, weather brush free. You see, I've installed it like three times because I was preparing for this tutorial. So, you see here, we have a big brush, a big rain, which is 80 and a small rain, which is 20. And then we got like some rain, rain uh, drops on the floor and uh, splashes, three kind of splashes. We're going to play with all that. Okay. First, we take the big, the big one. And the first thing you do is, well, sorry, you click here and I want to make sure that this, you see, if, if I brush here, now let me zoom in so you can see, uh, I'm going to zoom in like on, on here where there's a lot of light, for example, take the brush. If I brush here, the, br the, the rain is going to be very, very straight. And if you remember from the actual rain that we had here, the rain is a little bit on the side here. You know, it's on the side. Okay. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to uh, basically press command Z. And then I'm going to take here and I'm going to go and make this brush a little bit like this. Okay. And then I'm going to brush a little bit very quick. Now this brush stroke is very powerful. So what you can do is brush a little bit and then you can go here and change a little bit the angle. Maybe make it a little bit like, like this and add a bit of that. Because if you remember in the originals, you see, they sort of cross each other the rain. It's, they're not like pre precise. Now these rain darps are a little too much uh, bright, uh, not bright, but visible, but we're going to tackle that first. Let's, Put, put them wherever you see highlights, okay? And then I'm just gonna mess around here and then make it a bit different. 
so it has different inclination because depending how the wind goes you know it's a bit different and only put it where you, you see some highlights okay now once you've done that to make it even more realistic we're going to lower the opacity of that big rain so it, it's much more transparent which is already way better and we're going to go to filter blur and we're going to take motion blur and motion blur you see here is a different angle and the distance we're going to put it very small like maybe yeah 44 pixels now look at that look how realistic this looks now it looks uh this is crazy look look at the rain here before after it really gives that motion blur to the rain which we were missing and look at this it's exactly like the real rain here in fact i think we need to add more so you can if you if you think you didn't add enough like i'm th when i'm looking at this i'm like oh i need to add more in the highlights so you can do like another layer and it's good to do it like layer by layer big rain 2 for example and same idea i'm just going to go in there uh just where there's a lot of highlights and uh and then i'm going to change this move that around and like pretend the wind has been pushing in a different direction i'm going to do the same thing here and then i'm going to go to filter and because i've used a motion blur i'm just going to go filter motion blur it's in memory and it's going to apply the same value wow and look at that look how similar it looks to this it's really really cool and really did a great job okay now we add one more layer that we're going to call small rain small rain and small rain it's the same idea we're just going to take the brush that we installed and go to small rain here and then you know make it a little bit on the side here i'm just going to add a bit of small rain same idea but this one looks really cool this one like look how i'm going to zoom in so you can see how this one looks amazing and i'm just going to add a bit of small rain not everywhere just on the highlights and same thing i'm going to blur it i'm going to blur it uh there's a bit of highlights here highlights there and then here maybe a little bit on the floor okay and then same thing we're going to go to filter motion blur and that's just going to make that rain wow look at that that rain looks so real now it's so cool okay and then let's do some splashes so let's do splash one it's a good idea to do uh you know layers by layers so splashes let's go there and then uh, we're going to go to brushes and let's use this small splash here and they're very look at this it's not even splash it's like it just looks like rain hit the floor oh, this is so cool and uh and i'm just doing it where there is highlights you know and it's just you know if you ever print that in big it's gonna look cool a lot of splashes where the rain is wow look at that it's just incredible look at that look at the splashes this is so cool okay and then the splashes we're not gonna blur them we're just gonna lower the opacity like uh it's gonna make them a lot more transparent and a lot more real okay and then let's add some other splash like big splash now we go uh let's name this layer big splash and then b for brush and it's a great exercise so look at this let's take this brush here let's zoom in so you can see and uh this one is very powerful it's just i'm just gonna add just a little bit in some of the highlights places look at that it really looks like splashes looks like it's really and same thing lower the opacity and then maybe uh yeah 77 absolutely perfect and maybe we add another i got like so much splashes so this one is really big so let's add a new layer and call it huge splash and then just add a just few here and here and you see it's way too strong way too strong so the huge splash we're going to lower the opacity a lot like a lot like uh yeah like maybe like just put 30 percent and this completely looks like that it's been raining. Voila, so just make sure you don't know the file. This is a new show, by the way, called the Photoshop and Lightroom. And this is a new series, which is Photoshop for Lightroom users. Make sure you subscribe because the next video is gonna be about changing the moon on your photography. And make sure you watch the past episodes about blending exposures or about how to add the sky with reflection. And please comment and tell me what you'd like to learn. So thank you very much for your help. Okay, so now we're basically finished. And what you can do is you can take all of this and you can drag and drop this into this icon here. And that's gonna create a group and we call it rain and let's zoom in and see before the group 
after the group. Really cool. So make sure you download this very realistic crane and make sure you apply the motion blur. And I'll see you in the next video.